So here we go with a Bosch filter. I always thought these were a little higher end than any filters out there, and I really like them. And uh, see, it says uh, made in Mexico. So that shouldn't mean too much. It's a really light filter. And again, thank you, Coraline, for sending me some of these filters. And uh, she, uh, I don't know if she uses this one, but she didn't use it <laughs> but uh, we're going to cut it open and see how well it is made so yeah it is made in mexico but i always thought they were german or why would i i always thought it was like a german made filter so i'm not too sure what to think now so here, we're just gonna get her here and hopefully cut open Yes. See how thick this canister is. Every time I go to turn off the camera for if I'm going to, <laughs> I always think it's going to take a long time to cut these open. But in in real reality, they cut on the next cut or so when I turn the camera off. So I'm not going to do that this time. I'm going to keep filming and hopefully she'll cut through. Because few people like to watch me cut these filters off and see me struggle. Well, I hope not. This canister is pretty. This this is a lot thicker than I thought it was going to be. Wow. Come on. Let's get through here soon. Come on. Ah, oh, no. getting close. Oh, come on. See? My wife tells me you should show yourself cutting these open. And then, not then what? When I get one of these tougher canisters, it uh, takes forever and kind of boring. So if you want to fast forward through this, go right ahead. But uh, usually she's right on a lot of stuff about my videos. Oh, my word this thing is taking forever come on i should have just paused it <sighs> yeah i should have paused it okay that's it i'm pausing it okay finally got through it i'm out of breath that one that one took a while to get through and i don't know why maybe my wheel's getting dull Maybe I'll have to, well, I don't know how to sharpen it up. I don't even know if I can order a new cutting wheel. And it doesn't seem as sharp as it once was. Cutting open too many of these. Yeah. Oh, well. All right, let's get to her. Okay. Uh, well, I thought I was through. Oh. Yeah, I am through. All right, I'm through. Okay, let's see here. Let's take that. Well, that is not rubber. That is either neoprene or silicone. Definitely, it is not rubber. So, that is a surprise. This case, this case weighs a good amount. It's a pretty good size case. Uh, only three threads to hold the filter on. This is definitely thicker than the last one I did of the FVP, I think it was called. So, and, oh, that is held in really nice. So, that's also held in really nice. That might not come off on the vehicle. So, there we go. That That's a pretty good hefty case. And like I said, this is either neoprene or silicone. Very nice touch. And let's pull her out. And oh, there's the spring, stamp spring. Does it got any spring in it? I don't think it does, but it seems to hold everything together well. And oh, look at that. It does have a bypass valve, and it does work. 
So yeah, that works. Very nice. Very nice filter so far. Um, hmm. So let's take a look at here. These, I would say this is slightly better than the last filter of the paper, but I'll have to cut it off first and see how well it is compared to, you know, the last filter. I don't really compare filters here. I just go by one by one and give my opinion. So let me cut off the filtration and I'll get back to it. All right, I got her cut off. And one thing I did notice about this filter is where it is attached. Is that it? I think that's it. It's attached with glue. So, that's pretty strong. That was attached pretty strong there. So, the case, of course, is steel, metal, metal, and that's that's a good thing. You see a lot of the tubes look like this nowadays. Instead of having bigger holes for oil to go through, they got these little ones, and I think that's also so it catches some of the bigger objects going through. I'm not sure, not sure at all. The glue is brown, which color doesn't do signify anything in a filter, so... <laughs> It's brown, so yeah. Uh, the filtration. It is probably twice as thick as that F. What was that? Uh, FVP filter. So yeah, it's probably about twice as thick, and yeah, it's a lot stronger than that FVP filter filtration was. So this this will probably do a much better job at filtration, even though it cost. I think this one only costs about uh, that other one costs like 250 in the United States and this one uh, I think she said about four bucks in the US and from Rock Auto I believe but yeah this this one's not bad that's not a bad filtration so I'm taking it easier on these paper filters so there's not a lot of lot use higher end filtration and so uh, this is a nice filter so far. The case, the case was thicker than I thought, and it is pretty thick. It's pretty sturdy. So, yeah, that, that's a nice, strong case. So, uh, this one gets a pass for sure, as being the low-end filter for Bosch. And, uh, yeah, I would say this one, uh, I'd put it on my cars. Definitely put it on. It's a well-made filter, and it would do a great job. I'm sure it would. Well, if there's anything I forgot here, I don't think I have. I would say, yeah, this one's a pass, and thanks for watching.